Okay, so here we are about to start the dynamotor up. Got it all disassembled and cleaned and lubricated in there and um, went through an ordeal getting a stuck brush loose and finally got that done. So I've got it uh, clip lead uh, connected here. Got my digital meter on the dynamotor output. I've got an ammeter, a DC ammeter wired in series here with my little homebrew microwave oven power supply which has another meter, a voltmeter, DC voltmeter clip leaded here so we can see the output. And uh, here it goes. Get that in position, I'll get down here on the motor in case there's any arcing and sparking. <laughs> I do hear a little brush noise, but it's not too bad. We've got 251 <clears throat> jumping between, uh, oh, 252, 252 and a half. Hardly any DC current, less than an amp. Doesn't seem right. Not sure about the accuracy of that meter. We've got. Uh, well, it looks like a little over 28 volts, 28 and a half volts coming out of the, the power supply there. <clears throat> Go ahead and stop it here. And let's fire it up again. Yeah, that uh, ammeter, it did jump up to about 4 amps on initial uh, power up the surge there, but uh, boy, it drops like a stone, so looks good. <laughs> 